another solid gold podcast and we are breathless blondes today yes jenny baxter sitting in on tv in france and i'm melanie walker in johannesburg and i see you're looking very proudly south african with your south african scarf on today jenny How's it, Mal? Mal, I want to cry with joy. It is a miracle. The Supreme Court of Appeal has said that all of us who lost our South African citizenships because we applied for a second one without getting permission first, although some of us did, but anyway, I still have the letter, but anyway, we lost our South African citizenship. The Supreme Court of Appeal has said that that went against the Constitution and, um, and it was just so wrong, 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 wrong. And we all immediately have, we are South Africans again. So as of yesterday, I'm a South African. <laughs> you see, we put it into motion last week because I asked you, I kept on asking you, when I is know. there going to be some resolution to this? And nothing had happened and nothing had happened. And now it's through. It's but happened. The- and I, I must just say a huge yep. thank you to Adrian Ruiz from the DA, who is the one who took it to Parliament. Also, a huge thank you, and, and then to court, a huge thank you to SA People followers who, without them, they are the ones who signed the petition that we did with the DA that got it into Parliament because we Fantastic. needed X amount of signatures. So, so everyone has pulled together for this, but Adrian Ruiz is honestly the guardian angel. To, you don't know the tears, the, oh, sorry. It's very oh. emotional. It's just amazing. It's just <laughs> amazing. I never, ever thought we would win. Oh, I mean, Jane, I you're going to have me in tears. Oh, my <laughs> no. goodness me. Okay. It's, just, it's just so wonderful. I, th- I thought we, we deserved to win, but I didn't realize how good the court would be, you know? And... Um, and we've got a wonderful article on SA People by a Hollywood actor, Stelio Savante, who has been a lot more poetic than me in summing up that if you're born and raised in South Africa, you are always a South African yeah. at a heart. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. But yeah. <laughs> oh, let me give you a hug. <laughs> sorry. Thanks, Mal. Oh, I wish Thanks, I was there. Mal, I could do that. Yeah. No, that's, that's a, is, a, a yeah. huge thing. I'm so glad. And I mean, basically, yeah. it was taken, what, from an old apartheid law, and they just brought it back into being. I was then thinking, oh. why would you take something from the people who were your oppressors and then go and oppress yeah. your own people? It was absolutely and, nonsensical. And really not tell anybody. You know, yeah. most yeah. people didn't find out until years later. So it's just crazy, and the craziness is gone, and um, fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that's a good thing. On the flip side, <laughs> then, of course, yesterday, the NHI thing got pressed through. But I mean, I think that's just vote, trying to get votes for next year's elections. So I don't really think yeah. that anything's going to actually happen with that, to be honest. I can see every forum <sighs> is taking it to court immediately. Yeah. And, yeah, no, I mean, be it's because of... they had all these little people who've got maybe one seat here and maybe two seats there and they pulled them all together. This coalition government stuff does not work. The people vote for who they want. And it's not fair that the other groups get together and make a coalition when the majority has ruled but they take no notice but I'm, that's my you know that's my soapbox and I'll get onto it every single time but if we do pull together as people there's 90% of ours us who can take on them yeah, okay but yeah. we have to pull together to make it actually happen we can change yeah. things around but it has to come from the people we have to turn yeah. around and say enough is enough exactly like you did with this court ruling big ups to adrian Ross for that absolutely brilliant okay so let's get on to the good news what <laughs> news have you got for expats well um over in new york a uh, seo khaleesi's documentary you know rise seo khaleesi which you can watch on showmax um it is at the tribeca film festival And Rachel, his wife, is there in New York, and she said it was sold out. So a lot of a lot of pride there. (laughs) Um, Oh my gosh, Jen, I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm sorry. And then and then South African firefighters Hmm. have um, gone over to Canada. So Canadians look out for them, give them all the support. Two hundred have already gone. Another two hundred are on their way. Twenty five percent of the first deployment are women. All of them have had at least three years experience. Uh, Canada, I mean, it's Alberta region. Mm. They have had a huge amount, 550 fires already this season. That's crazy. we, we, South Africa has a memorandum of understanding with Canada since 2019, and we go over and pull resources and and help. So it's hectic. Uh, But by the way, hectic. hectic. What do you call it? What do you call a tick that sits on on a gate? I don't know. Hectic. (laughs) (laughs) 
sorry. <laughs> you have to be Afrikaans for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Shame, we have some sad news, but with a little bit of uplifting with it. But um, uh, it's a really upsetting. But just down the road in Nice, you know, all the South Africans mm-hmm. come over to work on the boats here. The guy who's staying with me, you know, he can't believe it. He's made more money in a week than he makes in over a month in South Africa, if not longer, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a great way of sending money home, of supporting the South Africans back home with what you can earn over here. And there was a beautiful girl, Amber Krauss. I've never read such beautiful tributes to anyone. She was sending money back home. She tragically fell down the stairs into the crew mess mm-hmm. on Saturday morning in the port in Nice and broke her neck and died. Um, so it's really awful, but the amazing thing is her boyfriend, Ashley, immediately put a fundraiser together to repatriate her body, help her parents back in mm. South Africa, um, and they've already raised more than their target. Their target was 10000 Again, thank you to SA People readers who have just uh, supported so much. And the crew, you know, the, the yachting industry, they are so competitive because mm. you're all going for these jobs, but they are tight knit. You know, they party every night together. They do everything together. They go hiking, traveling, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's a tragedy. It was really brought home to me by the fact that my little daughter, J.D., who also is a stewardess, just like Amber was, Mm. um, on a super yacht. She was between my daughter, uh, between, uh, on her way to Corsica two nights ago, and she fell down the stairs. So the exact steps, but steps, Mm. J.D. landed up in hospital. Thank goodness all she has messed up is her foot. So, um, that's why I'm rushing out right now because I have to go to the airport to pick her up because she's on crutches and obviously can't carry her own luggage. Yeah. So, no, well, um, look, but I am stairs so are dangerous. Grateful. I yeah. fell down two steps, as you might remember, back in 1988 when I won Miss Hilbra, okay, the biggest beauty competition <laughs> in South Africa at the time where only girls under the age of 25 were allowed to actually um, enter. And I cracked my coccyx and messed up my back so badly that... Um, I, I couldn't walk after a while. I mean, it's and yeah, it's still to I this day, and that's from 1988. So when you're walking downstairs, I mean, for me, it's always like I walk downstairs, I'm holding on to something, I'm focused all the time, specifically yes. on stairs. Yes. And I mean, I can bound up and down with the best of them, but frankly, uh-uh. when it comes to steps, I, I treat right. them with a lot of... of um, always hold on. Hold on to something. It even says, yeah. watch out for the steps. You know, those things bite, eh? Hey? All right, so let's get on to some local good news, Shame. I'm, and, and just my, my heartfelt condolences to... to Amber Krause's family as well. Okay. Oh, me too. Oh, and the crew and everyone. Mm. Um, and her school, Pretoria Girls High, um, who also did a beautiful tribute for her. Uh, good news back in South Africa. Um, I really do have to be quick because I have to leave. Okay, just go then. Immediately. But no, no, no. Okay. No, I mean, talk. Comrades Marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not go. I, th- I thought you were trying to get rid of me, Mel. <laughs> um, Comrades Marathon. Did you watch it? I didn't because I was working. Oh, okay, good excuse. Because it was phenomenal. There were so many records bra- broken. Um, an 81-year-old became the oldest man to complete the marathon, a, a record that had been there Was for he o- older than Wally? Really? Yes, yes, he was 81. Wally Hayward was 80. Oh, um, okay. And the, and the new guy is Johannes Maris Mosele. Um, Mosele. <laughs> Congratulations, jo- Johannes. Um, uh, Gerda Stein, you know, she did it again and she broke a 34 year old record. Set by um, Fifa Berva, yeah. Ya Tete Di Jana, he, he also beat the down record and he kept his title from last year. So that was amazing. Beautiful news about a. Uh, a vulture that was starving because it had a car, it was involved in a car crash. It wasn't driving. It found and a comrade's runner that had fallen over and had a good meal. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so is this one that had the new beak put on a 3D beak? Yes, yes. It's a, it's a, it's actually a beak transplant. So oh, really? oh, okay. They, 
Yeah, it wasn't created. It's real. They had a dead vulture in a freezer for research purposes. And when this new vulture was in the car crash, lost his eye and lost his beak and also oh. couldn't eat, they, they cut off the beak off the frozen one, used about four heavy, heavy screws, half an hour operation, first in the world on a bird of prey. It's oh, been done fantastic. On a, yeah, it's been done on a duck in New Zealand before. But So now, because it's keratin, like our fingernails, it will grow again. So mm. the, 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 new, the new dead beak will be a protection while the while real it grows beak, a new beak grows underneath. And that should take about a year. So, so just, and, and please, a huge congratulations to the vet. I think you know her name. Um, do I? Um, yes. Yeah, I catch a couple, yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's some wonderful Absolutely. people. I see you've got something here about Fuff, and I've loved, I love those ads with Fuff. Um, but <laughs> who really went and said, oh, no, they can't have him walking around in a Speedo in a shop? I mean, really, what on it earth? Was, they were complaining about that insurance advert. Yes, and they yes, said that's the ad they, I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so they said it was inappropriate that it was. Um, it's met, it's not an old dani, yeah. Yeah, it was two of vanilla. It was two old danis. Okay. Yeah, and they um, and they said they said it was yeah inappropriate. They couldn't watch it with their families. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, the advertising regulatory board investigated and said, you know what? Any reasonable South African would not be offended by this. No, I wasn't and, offended um, by it. Yeah, so so it can go. I mean, it's, it's an cute. icon. It's an iconic thing. Him it's cute. Wearing even Prince Harry saw him in his speedo. So yeah, if if Harry can, we can. I think we should all take to the streets, the freezing cold, cold Joburg streets, in our our flag costumes now to go and protest against these silly people. Anyhow, <laughs> all right, nice. And I, um, I saw that somebody got a parcel through the post. I didn't even know the post office was still going. I believe <laughs> we keep hearing that it's closed down. And now yeah. this woman got it. How many years later? Thirty. So I think the post office may be reviving somewhere because she's in Durban. 13 years later, so her ba her father had sent the package to her when her baby was born 13 years ago. Mm. So now, now the baby's 13. Um, so, but, uh, but we also got sent a video, which I've yet to post, but we got sent a video, I think from Germany, from a guy who received a parcel 10 years later. And he also only just received it in the last week or so. So somebody is up to good stuff. Well, it's good news. Uh, yeah. Well, I suppose better late than never. Hey? Um, yeah. Okay, so what, what okay. have we got in the way of entertainment? Very quickly, right through it. Last night, there was a um, premiere in London with Prince William and Sophie. It's called Rhino Man. It's a South African documentary feature, and it's highlighting how these um, rangers basically almost give their lives for to save the rhino species you know to, i think i posted that on my i think i posted it from somebody else onto my timeline on facebook today as well yeah it's yeah. just amazing and i mean you know uh, we've spoken about him before i've just forgotten his name but one of the main guys who was taking part in the documentary actually got gunned down mm. during the filming I, of i remember that so yeah. so it's it's a kind of tribute to him who really did give his life also got good news for everyone around the world who hadn't been able to see blood lions yet, which is about the um, the awful canned lion hunting in mm. South Africa and exposes it. Please, everybody, show it to your friends and family so that anybody going to South Africa does not go and pet lion cubs or walk with teenage lions. It's just not okay. Mm. So blood lions is available for everyone. Quick reminder, Shaka Ilembe starts on 18th of June this week and, um, and Rosemary's hit list begins on Showmax today, 14th of June, and is apparently the most gripping crime story since our beloved Devil's Dorp. Devil's Dorp, yeah. yeah. Oh, and by the way, yeah, so um, I've been in contact this, this week with, um, what did we call him? Um, we're, because of course we're Derek's darlings. Yeah, <laughs> Derek's uh, angels. Derek no, that was no. What, what do we call us? De Derek's Devils. Sing, sorry, talking De about yeah, Devils yeah, yeah. Dorp. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Derek's Devils. Yeah, I've been in touch with him because, of course, he, the, finally they broke the news about his illness um, that yeah. he does actually yes. have cancer, which we've known we have known for a while. Yes. Um, and of course, from me, for one of my my favorite icons in television in South Africa, of course, Derek, yeah. we are all with you 100%. So please yes. just stay in touch. Let us know how you're going. His 
Mm. And I love his positive attitude and his gratitude to everybody who's just been amazing at sending in messages and supporting mm. carte blanche. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Mal, I must run. You must run. Must okay, run. so. Okay. Love we'll speak humanity. to you again next week. All right, take good care. Okay. And uh, you all too. of you, send your stories through to Jenny and we'll talk about them in depth next week. Bye bye. Bye. Another production from Solid Gold Podcasts.